going to go ahead and start off with this green. And I'm just going to do ra random, um, random patterns on here and see how it goes. Look how pretty that picked up. Very nice. And that is that firm stamper and it picked up lovely. And that's why I wanted that because the Conan stamper is so smaller than these and you really um doesn't it doesn't pick up big images. Okay. I'm going to do a lighter color and I guess I'm going to choose this one right here and it's a deeper imprint, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, picked up lovely. That is the firm. Picked up very nice. Now this is going to be the medium firm. And I picked one that has less detail and I picked one that has a lot of detail on the firm and it did pick them up nicely. So I'm going to do this red. Nice. Come over a little bit. Make sure y'all see these designs I'm doing. We still, this is the maroon, like the purple maroon, which is a medium firm. Very nice. And that's the medium firm and it's picking up with no problem. Now this is the medium. Now you have to use lighter colors because it doesn't show up too good because it's since it's not a white so just going back and forth with different colors. Now the darker colors will um, actually show up good with the uh, lovely picked up very nice. I'm sure you can't see that. I should have used the pink or white. But they picking up very nice. Gonna go ahead and see if I can pull my white conette out. I don't have that much in here, so hopefully um, I'll do this image again in white since it's a darker stamp. Look at that. Lovely. It didn't go. I, I waited too long. It kind of dried kind of fast on me. And y'all probably won't see that white on that paper. But it did pick up nice. 
I'm going to try this one with a darker color, which I say it was a smaller one. And I'm going to see how it, how it does when I push down on it since it's kind of lower than all the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and use that green. Picked up very nice. Very nice. I love these heads. I really do. Okay, that was the medium. Now this is going to be the medium soft. I love when stuff works. I love it when stuff works. You pay your money. You want it to work. And they are working. You hear me? I'm going to go with a darker color so I can see how it stamps on the thing. And um, I guess I'll use the pink. I'm going to use another color. Same medium soft is that one. Ooh, ooh guys, lovely. Now for the one that everybody loves is the soft marshmallow fill ones. Everybody like the soft. I actually don't mind if it's firm as long as it do the job. And um, it's hard to find a firm, a firm stamper that actually pick up the images. I'm going to have to try that firm one on um, a Conad plate and see how good it works like the Conad. Okay, we're going to go with this very soft one, pink one. Gonna do the blue. Let's see another image I haven't tried on here. Let's see. Forty-five dollars is kind of steep, but I wanted all the different ones to see how actually all of them works on different texture. Look at that! Ooh, like, 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 like. Ooh, that's lovely. So I'm just giving y'all idea. If you don't have to buy all of them, um, you probably see how I'm testing them out from the firm and those. Um, uh oh, these are very soft, very soft guys. They very sticky too. Um, they almost kind of stickier than the moyos, the mo moyu. See, I can't. I, every time I put it on the sticker roll, it's coming out the thing. This one is kind of not as. I might have to push it down a little darker. They had some length on there, so I'm trying to take all that length before I use it because it's not going to stamp well. Okay. This last one, guys. Um. Let's see which one I need to use. I'm going to use this pink. And this image is very deep cut image, full deep line. So, uh oh. Oh, lovely. Very nice. 
so I didn't have to double stamp anyone. Every last one of them worked for me. And um, these are very sticky, guys. These right here. I really like them. Messy Mansion did a very good job on the very nice colored stamps. Um, they do fit in your black one. So if anybody knew, I'm glad they sent this with me. It shows you that it does fit in the black holder. Um, you, personally, if you don't like firm or whatever, you can just pick whichever texture you want on your stamper head. And all of them work just fine. And I use random lines and stuff. Um, I would... Um, Moyu plates are the very nice cut plates. Now, if I would bring out a... Let's see. Let me go ahead and bring out a Conad and a Poing. So I, you can probably see that. And I probably use a firm stamper for that. With the firm stamper. I'm sure they'll work with the softer stampers. But the firm stamper... Um, a lot of people have problems picking up an image with those firm stampers. Especially the Conan stamper. Since it's really firm and small, that's why most pro people have problems picking up an image with the, with the Conan. The bigger images with the Conan. But, um, I'm going to see if I can pick up a bigger image with the firm stamper. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Okay, this is a bigger image that the is not as sharp as a print as the MoU. Especially these right here. Very smooth texture here. So I'm gonna test this one out right here and see how it goes. This is Poing. And I'm gonna use the firm stamper. No way the Conan stamper would pick that up because it's. Look at that. Very nice. Sounds very good. I kind of waited too long to let it dry so it didn't, it didn't transfer all the way. But it did pick it up. Very nice image pickup from this firm stamper to say, you know, if I bring out my Conan, my Conan wouldn't have even covered that whole stamp. Okay, one of these little images here. I try one of these images here and see how that goes. Um, I guess I'll do Tweety right here. It's a smaller image, but hey, why not? Look how that came out. Very nice. Very nice and firm. So, people scatter the firm. Messy matching firms works very good on the bigger images than that Conan stamper. That's smaller stamper. Okay, I'm gonna this is a gal's plate. Guess I'll do the zebra print right here. Look at that. Okay, this is a Conat plate, which is very smooth. Conat is very smooth images, but um, I'll go ahead and try it for you guys. Let me do this image right here. It picked up lovely. Okay. Also, I got this cheeky plate, which is a very big image, and there are not that engraved like Mayu. So, um, I'm trying different ones because we know that Mayu plates are good quality plates, and it will work with any stamper. So, this is giving proof that the firm all the way will work with all the other ones that doesn't have a deep engravement. Um, cheeky is another plate that also is not very hard engraved, but... It normally stamps well. I'm going to just do a random. I guess I'll do this one right here. Let 
Look at that. Very lovely. So guys, that is my tester again. Um, like I said, I was going to my brushes, but I came back and I thought about it. Hey, let's see if this firm will work on less engraved plates. And it does. So um, I'm glad for that. And it pushed down very it pushed down even better than the Conad. You know, it gives some give. Conad don't have no give. You hear me? But this firm gives a little give, but it is firm. And I love it. Okay? I'll be right back when I share my brushes. Okay, like I said, I'm coming back to you with the Alpha brush. Um, and Alpha comes in fast, too. I think Alpha took about three days to come in after ordering. Um, they're still they're from the, um, the U.S., so... Their brushes are very reasonable. Um, I have a bunch of their brushes, and they send you a questionnaire with if anything wrong with your purchase. You can just fill this out and send it back, and yeah, la la la. Okay, um, I got five brushes, which I pay eighteen and seven eight dollars for them. So. Um, these are the gel brushes that I got. Um, it comes like this. And it comes with the little top on it. I got a, a six flat gel brush. Um, a, a number four flat gel brush and a number six short oval gel brush and two French number fours I've um, yeah I've seen me use this in my videos so um, I just needed some extra ones I only had one so that's why I ordered one of these and I probably have another giveaway and so one of these might one of these I'll put in the giveaway okay and this is my spare, okay? And um, I'm going to just open one of them and leave one closed so y'all can see. Both of them are the same. I like them because they are very, that's a number four, and they are very small. And it really gets very narrow and very small, and it gets good around cuticles and everything. And it's short, and it's very sturdy. It's not too loose and long, flimsy, and stuff like that. So, um... That's that, and I'm going to share you how the the gel brushes look. They uh, um, come in like a stainless steel ca casing, and the two flats is a four and a six, like I said. Um, white. I think they are synthetic white fibers. And the number four is what I like to use. Unless they are longer and wider nails, I'll use this one. But I also still can use this on my nail. But I prefer the shorter one. And the unique thing about this, they come apart. Flip it around. And you can close it up. Very nice. Very, very quality brushes. And I think the number... Um, the number six flat, this is number four flat, which was, um, $3.40. The number six flat was $3.48. And the oval white looks like this. And it's short, which I'm I'm going to really like using this too. Because I like the angle of it and it's very short. So I like this one too and I'll be using this a lot. And this is number six short oval. So it's short. So it's really smaller than the, the number six flat. It's almost the same size, but when you make it oval, it's it looks kind of smaller. So it's kind of shorter than the... The number six. Okay. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I just wanted to show you these quick reviews.